Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Andrew and welcome back to another Clip Studio Paint tutorial video. So for this tutorial video, I wanted to show you guys how you can do a batch export. A batch export uh, is a feature that uh, Clip, Studio Clip Studio Paint has that lets you uh, uh, export each of these individual pages as a particular file, let's say JPEG. Um, and at one time and so you don't have to open each individual page and uh, and hit print or export every time you just do it one time and clip studio paint does all the pages at once um, again I will say that this feature this uh, what you're looking at here this is called a comic book file or what clip studio paint calls a uh, a comic book file it's a dot CMC it's only available in the clip studio paint EX version so if you have the pro version you do not have this feature so you cannot you cannot do this uh, this batch export now um, if you um, have a clip studio paint files uh, a clip studio paint file is a the, the dot uh, CLIP um, if you have those individual but you do not you didn't um, set it up as a comic book file um, I have a video that uh, shows you how you can uh, import um, your individual clip clip files into a comic book file uh, I'll leave a, a, a link to that instruction video in the description down below so that you can uh, if you have the EX version, you can do that. Uh, that way, um, you can utilize the batch export uh, feature. Now, um, I am going to uh, show you how to export uh, these pages, but I'm not going to do every single page because it does take a long time um, for that to, to happen. So I'm just going to do the first uh, uh, five pages. And so the way we export um, uh, all your pages so you, that you can send them to the printer or put them online if you if you choose to, to do that is uh, you go to file and then here export multiple pages and you want batch export uh, this pop-up window shows up here and this uh, so the first thing you have is this ref uh, if you hit that that this is pretty much uh, where you want your 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 JPEGs or your TIFF files to go. I am just going to save my files to the desktop. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call it my comic. All right. And so I'm going to open that. Nope, that's not what I wanted. So my comic, open. Okay, so now you can see here. Here's the path. Uh, it's going to go to the desktop. My into a folder called my comic. The next thing is this drop down window where you can choose what type of file you want to save it as. Uh, there's JPEG, a PNG, or TIFF file. Uh, I think most printers uh, usually either want a, a TIFF file or a Photoshop. Um, they, here are some Photoshop files. You can save your, your drawings as Photoshop. Uh, but I think the printers usually usually want uh, your, your Photoshop files to be uh, uh, completely uh, merged merge all your layers so that it's only one single layer but uh, you might want to check with your particular printer see what type of files they they uh, prefer and then you can uh, obviously save them as that um, the only file I will say that uh, clip studio paint cannot export is a PDF for some reason they cannot do PDF so I'm just going to save them as TIFF files, so uh, I'm going to choose TIFF um, and then here you give a name to your files. So um, you'll notice that um, uh, these are number um, are called differently. So the cover page, you got to remember the cover page is, is uh, 1 and then the inside cover is 2 and then see the number 3. So page 1 is actually 3 and then page 2 is 4 and so on and so on. So when uh, Clip Studio exports these as TIFF files, um, the cover page will be called Swarm01 
and then the inside cover will be called Swarm 02. And then page two, I mean page one, will be called Swarm 03. And then zero, uh, Swarm 04, Swarm 05, and so forth and so forth. Um, you'll have to rename them uh, after you export them when you send them to the printer. Um, so here, uh, the next feature is a page uh, range. Uh, all obviously means every single page that's in your comic book file. Uh, only the cover page. So let's say you just you just want the covers to be exported into TIFF files. Um, you can also uh, you can do all the covers. You can do the cover and back cover. Uh, so different features here you can, but that's just for the cover pages. So, uh, or you can just do the 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 main text. The main text is is basically. Uh, right here number three all the way to um, the very bottom here uh, where your last page is uh, basically the interiors the interior pages only or you can just select uh, just a, a, a section of your interiors so from three to seven would mean page one to uh, six right three yeah so that's what I'm going to do for this example. I'm just going to do this these uh, five pages here uh, because Clip Studio Paint takes a long time to, to do this process. So I'm just going to hit OK. And then this next feature here, um, there is a, a, another video that I made that uh, kind of explains uh, how this works. So I'm going to uh, leave a link in the description on that video. It, it explains what the output range uh, does. Uh, I'm not going to explain that here. And then, of course, it explains the color and, and the uh, scale. Uh, so for right now, what I'm going to do is just leave this at as all pages. And then the color, because my book is black and white, I'm going to do grayscale. And then the scale, I want it to be as is, so 100%. Uh, and then four comics. And I'm going to do preferred quality hit OK and so now Clip Studio Paint will do its uh, its job so this might take a while so I might fast forward this All right, Clip Studio Paint has done its job. Um, as uh, well, I kind of fast forward that, but it does take a while for uh, Clip Studio Paint to work through all the pages, um, especially if your clip files have uh, multiple layers. Um, it takes a while for uh, Clip Studio Paint to uh, rasterize, um, yeah, rasterize all those um, layers and then uh, compress them or to uh, merge them all together and then export them as, as TIFF files. So um, I, that's why I only did the first five pages because uh, I wanted this tutorial to go quickly. But if you have multiple pages, just it's going to take a while. So, um, so that should have exported all the files into this folder here called uh, My Comic. And so here are all the TIFF files, as you can see. So you can do your entire comic book. Um, you can export all the uh, all the pages all at one time. Uh, no need to open each individual uh, clip file and hit export. Um, there is also one other feature that I want to show you, and that is if you do a a spread. Um, now, if uh, a a two page spread. Um, you'll have to get with your printer but I'm pretty sure if you have a two page spread I'll show you here this is actually um, the uh, second issue of my comic book swarm um, it's called swarm book of the dead um, so if you look here um, here's page one it's again labeled number three and then here's page uh, two and three which is labeled four and five but as you can see it is a 
a two page spread which means the the I combined the pages together and it's one solid uh, one solid drawing now um, I'm pretty sure the printer wants both of these pages sent to them separately so this would be one TIFF file and then this would be one TIFF file um, but if the way you do that is uh, again you go to file uh, export multiple pages a uh, batch export and so I'm going to I'm going to send it to the same folder uh, TIFF file um, I'm gonna call it swarm2 that way uh, when these two pages are exported it'll say swarm203 swarm204 swarm205 that way it won't override the other uh, TIFF files that I that I did so I'm just gonna go from 3 to 5 I'm just gonna export those now here where it says export spread separately if you check that what should happen is um, these two pages here uh, Clip Studio Paint will separate them as two separate uh, TIFF files so I'm going to keep everything else the same hit OK and I'm going to wait until Clip Studio Paint does its magic I will fast forward this All right, Clip Studio Paint is done. So we're gonna go to the folder and see what we got. And so here we have uh, Swarm 2, uh, 0, 01, which is page one. So there's the page, the first page. And then, so if we open page two, you see you only have half the drawing and then page three should be the other half and there we go and so you'll see that um, the way the way it, it uh, exported both of these pages you kind of have an uh, there's like an overlap here. Uh, something. Why is my there we go? So there's kind of that overlap here, and so I think, um, and that is because there is. Uh, well, you'll have to you'll have to get with your printer to see to make sure that they line this up correctly uh, you'll have to work with them because uh, there is there is this uh, this trim area here that they 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 need to trim right because these pages are the full pages so there is a bleed there is a bleed that will um, it's going to be cut and it's going to be cut here and so you, you want to make sure that they line up like the uh, the bleed from this uh, this area and the bleed from this area at the trim line you want them to match up so this is something that uh, you'll have to work with with the printer um, uh, for sure get a if your comic book has a spread uh, like that uh, for sure get a proof print before you uh, start printing your comic books uh, ask them uh, to print a proof first so yeah so that's how you export in batches uh, I hope this uh, video was helpful to you I hope you learned something and uh, if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel please consider subscribing uh, I do clip studio paint tutorial videos like this um, I also do some speed drawing sometimes um, I also do uh, videos about my comic book uh, so for this one, like uh, Swarm uh, Book of the Dead, which is the second issue in my Swarm story. Uh, if you have not read uh, Swarm Book of Fear, which is the first issue, you can read that for free. 
um, at, uh, at uh, comiccentral.com. I'll leave a link in the description where you can download that for free. And uh, I also do gameplay videos, so I plan to uh, do a gameplay of, uh, uh, of a specific game that heavily influenced uh, my comic book in January. So stay tuned for that uh, if you're into gameplay. Um, again, thank you for watching, uh, and I will see you guys in the next one.